Some believe he took the secret of Starlight to the grave. That hasn't deterred others from trying to replicate it. The truth about Starlight is that it's something that you could potentially knock up forms of using a product which you can just you know, get um, in your own home. And you yourself have made a batch of Starlight? I've made a batch of not what I call Starlight, but I've knocked up something. Notice that it's getting very, very hot, red hot in the middle. And notice that I'm still in fact holding this metal plate. There's no gas pro pro produced. And you can just go on in fact heating it. When I take it away. Yeah, yeah it's warm, isn't it? It's, it's not red it's, hot it's by, warm. Any, by any stretch, yeah. This is made using regular household products. Carrie, do me a favour while you're there. Will you feed those other rabbits for me? I fed them yesterday. Well, feed them again today, will you? Get... Morris's bounds would have been based upon what he had in his home at that point of time. So what I then did was to, in fact, put my own mind and sort of act on just that point and say, right, in my home, I've got this and that and that. If I do this and that, what does that lead to? Does it lead to, in fact, anything novel? What would a hairdresser have at home then? He'd have presumably hair gels, mousse, hairspray. Are we, are we close? Did he make wigs also? I believe he did, yeah. So he would have had glue and things too. Do you think that could have been used? Could have been. It's white, so it could be something as simple as a PVA glue. I'm not going to go down that path. <laughs> but if you look at uh, published papers, people have used PVA glue for these kind of applications. What's in Starlight? Can't tell you that. Not one ingredient? Nope. Is there PVA glue in it? Can't tell you that. Your dad used to give it to the dogs and the horses. It it's natural. You can eat it. It's not going to kill you. Your, your dogs and horses used to eat it? Yeah. And nothing happened to them? You have a formula for it which your dad passed on to you. Just tell us where you're up to with that and what you want to try and do with Starlight. We do want to bring it to the open market. You should be able to buy it on a shelf. This is what we're trying to do, put it into paint so people can actually paint their own houses. First off, Lee, let me say that we're pleased to see the BBC taking up the story of Maurice Ward, whose amazing genius became groundbreaking research. Now, we heard about a US company, Thermashield, through Keith Lewis. One of the partners in that firm first contacted Morris back in 2008 and bought the intellectual rights to Starlight in October 2013. That included notes, test reports, and samples from the Boeing and the White Sands tests. We've been in touch with Steve Menk from Thermashield and we asked him for an interview. He politely declined, saying the company was keeping a low profile until they were ready to launch the product but he did send us a video statement and some footage from their very own egg test. Thermoshield produced samples, repelled high-powered laser attacks at power densities far exceeding prior laser testing. Also an 18-year-old legacy sample from the Boeing test cycles sustained equivalent laser attacks without a mark, proving its performance stability over time. Steve talks about how they're looking to use Starlight for very similar applications as those identified by Morris, Nicky, and others. In America, you've got a company called Thermashield that your mother and another sister sold them a formula. That formula isn't as good as what we've got. So you're it's saying you've about... got some sort of super strength? Yes. Starlight? Yeah. It's not about having it and putting it all together. You've got to put it together in certain stages. And if you don't know how to do that, it won't work. 
My take on it is that it's actually very easy to make. We've made versions of it. Other people have made versions of it. There are now many, many of these paints out there called intumescent paints. If you go looking for them on the internet, you'll see there are a lot of companies making a lot of money out of this. It already exists, Starlight, not as a name brand, but as, as a commercial entity, that paint exists. There are other paints, intumescent paints, similar to Starlight on the market that people can go into shops and buy. Why would they go in and buy Starlight as opposed to one of those? Because Starlight will save your life. I know there's nobody else out there who has a formula like Starlight. Despite Nikki's claims, her formula is yet to make it to the market.